The positive side of parachuting is obvious to most people. The thrill of jumping out of an aircraft in flight and falling free, combined with the silent beauty of floating through the sky under an open parachute, is hard to beat. And now, thanks to the advent of tandem jumping, this experience can be had more easily than ever before. However, although skydiving can be a lot of fun, it is very important that you recognize and accept that there are also significant risks involved in making a parachute jump. My name is Bill Booth. I developed tandem jumping in the early 1980s and own uninsured United Parachute Technologies, a distributor of tandem parachute equipment. I remember my first jump, so I know you're excited and want to jump right away. But first, I have to help you understand the nature and extent of the risks you will be taking by making a tandem parachute jump. There is not now, nor will there ever be, a perfect parachute system or packer, a perfect airplane or pilot, a perfect parachute center or instructor, or for that matter, a perfect student. Each of these devices, people, and corporations, all necessary for you to make a tandem parachute jump, are subject to malfunction, failure to perform as expected or required, or to human error. Unexpected weather conditions may also arise. It is important that you understand that if you choose to make a parachute jump, any such malfunction, failure to perform, or change in weather conditions may cause or contribute to your injury or death. It is because of this significant inherent risk that you will be asked to sign a tandem jumper assumption of risk agreement. This agreement is an important legal document. It is a contract between you and all of the people and corporations that will assist you in making your tandem parachute jump. By signing this document, you expressly state that you understand that by making a tandem parachute jump, you risk serious injury or even death caused by any reason, including design or manufacturing defects, malfunction of the parachute system, or improper, careless, negligent, or even grossly negligent use of that system by the parties involved. Simply put, signing this waiver demonstrates your willingness to accept the risk of serious injury or death in exchange for the thrill of making a tandem parachute jump. By signing this document, you also state that if you are injured or killed, neither you nor your heirs will ever sue any of the involved parties for any reason whatsoever, and that if you do sue, you promise to pay all legal expenses of or judgments against any of the sued parties. Because this document will drastically affect your legal rights, you must read it carefully and fully understand it before signing. If you do not understand its implications, you should only ask an attorney who is licensed to practice law in the state where you are jumping to explain or interpret it for you. The people assisting you with your tandem jump are not attorneys, and you may not rely on any interpretation you receive from them. If you have any questions about the specific risks involved in parachuting, I urge you to ask the Parachute Center or read the incident reports contained in Parachutist Magazine, which they will provide if you ask. Tandem is not the only way you can make a parachute jump. There are other methods of instruction available to you. This is not the only place where you may make a tandem parachute jump. The Parachute Center will supply you with a list of other methods or centers if you wish. If you have any medical problem that you think might affect your ability to make this jump, please ask your doctor about the advisability of your jumping and inform the Parachute Center before signing up for your jump. If for any reason you decide not to jump, you can get a full refund at any time before you suit up. It is important that you understand that because it is critical to your safety that your harness be properly adjusted to your body your instructor, and possibly others involved in helping you make your jump, may need to touch areas of your body in ways that might otherwise seem inappropriate. A tandem jump is not a carnival ride. Because your performance can affect the outcome of the jump, you are a student, not just a passenger. Your responsibilities are simple, but very important, so listen carefully to your instructor's briefing. While you may choose not to jump at any time during the flight up, for your own safety, 
you should clearly communicate this decision to your tandem instructor prior to approaching the aircraft door for exit. Now, with these important considerations disclosed to you, let me formally welcome you to the world of sport parachuting with a sincere wish that your first parachute jump be as exciting and rewarding as was mine.